So as the brand new BIOS 338 that served to reduce fan speed actually made the RG Ally too hot now. Let's do some temperature tests on manual mode, 25 watts turbo unplugged and also 30 watt plugged in turbo mode. Plus let's address why Asus may have rolled out this new BIOS too. So let's dive straight in and a huge thanks to one of our great viewers, MakeDunCD, who commented in my previous BIOS 338 update vid that the thermals of their ally got up to 95 Celsius, which is insane. And this was the most liked comment, which indicates that this has happened to quite a few of you too. So let's start on a lower manual mode using switch emulation and work our way up in intensity. And we'll start with the ever awesome Mario Kart 8, which fun fact, I play for at least an hour every single day. Just double checking that we're on a 15 watt manual mode, the starting temp is an extremely low 43 degrees, the time is 1.24 pm and we'll check back in about 30 minutes. Ok so we're about half an hour later now at 1.53 and yes as expected the temp is a very low 55 degrees. The RG Ally isn't even breaking a sweat and I don't even think the fans have even kicked in yet. Let's have a quick listen. Next let's load up the amazing Resident Evil 3, that's on Game Pass. So we're now on 25 watts turbo unplugged profile. The starting temp is a very respectable 75 degrees, the battery is at 55% and time is 2.24pm so we'll check back in about half an hour. And 5 minutes into our test and can I just say that if you haven't tried this out then do so ASAP. As even though it's pretty short this is such a fun game, looks absolutely gorgeous on the Ally at 60 plus FPS. Ok so we're at 20 minutes into our testing and we're at 5% battery which means that we've just dropped 50% in just 20 minutes. Wow, gotta love the Allies battery right guys. Let's check out the temp and it's actually 5 degrees less than when we started. Now at 70 degrees, so let's see how loud the fans actually are. And finally, let's load up a heavy duty AAA title in the incredible Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2. So we can see we're on 30 watt turbo plugged in mode, the starting temp is 91 degrees, yikes! And it's 4.57pm so let's check back in about 45 minutes. Ok so we're a few minutes into the game and just like Mate Dunn CD highlighted, these early 90 degree temps are indeed very worrying. Let's keep playing and let's hope that they come down soon. So just an update after 5 minutes and the temp has finally come down to just under 80 degrees thankfully. As if they would have stayed at that 90 degrees plus after this time then it really would have been very concerning indeed. So we're about 50 minutes in now at 5.43pm and again thankfully the temps after those initial 5 or so minutes when it was in the 90s have stayed around 80 degrees which has been great to see. Let's see how loud the fans are. Hey, let's do another 4 to 5 minutes of testing. Just a quick update, we're an hour and 10 minutes into this 30 watt turbo session and the temps have consistently been under 80 degrees all this time. Very pleasing to see. Ok and now at 6.30pm which is just over 90 minutes in total at 30 watts plugged in and the temp has been a pretty rock solid 80 degrees which is definitely in the safe zone. So let's have a quick listen to how loud the fans are. So why did Asus push this BIOS out? Well again I'll hand it over to one of our amazing viewers, I'll tell you what you guys are so knowledgeable. And it's TJ who bets 338 is due to the RG Ally X and that has now moved the SD card and has better thermals. So perhaps it looks like Asus just don't care what happens with this first RG Ally. Well that's a very good point TJ and you could very well be right. Listen for me, this new BIOS 338 seems to be ok. But I'm fascinated with how you're finding this. Are you like me in that the temps are still staying around 80 degrees on 30 watts turbo plugged in? Or are yours consistently in the 90s like our viewer make done CD? Do let us all know in the comments. I'm still recovering from a bad bout of Covid this past week so I just want to say a huge thank you for those who sent encouraging comments. You guys are awesome. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Be gentle with yourself, you are doing the best you can. 
It's very tempting to be harsh with ourselves sometimes when things aren't going quite how we want them to be, like being the best dad, husband, boyfriend or employee sometimes. But always remember that if we just do the very best in what we're capable of, then we can't really ask for more than that, can we? So just stay encouraged today, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and keep watching if you want the best settings guide for the Senua Saga Hellblade 2 like I've used in this very vid. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.